Hello again. In this video, I'm going to be dealing with price ceilings and price floors. In the last video on demand and supply, we dealt with the basics of how demand and supply works. That's about as basic as it's going to get. In reality, this system does not operate all on its own. Governments also play a role in this system. One of the ways they do this is by setting price ceilings and price floors. Here is what a price ceiling looks like. You'll notice that the demand and supply curve intersects at a specific point. This point is known as equilibrium, where demand is equal to supply, allowing the market to clear. However, governments feel that prices can be too high for customers if they have to pay the equilibrium price for a particular good. Therefore, they implement a price ceiling, which is a limit on the amount suppliers can charge. The price ceiling is set below the equilibrium price. It is designed to protect customers who simply wouldn't be able to afford a particular good which is set at the equilibrium price. However, economists are generally against this framework because they cause excess demand in the market, as shown on the diagram. There are many people who would be willing to buy a particular good at the price that the government sets, but because of this price setting, there is not enough supply to satisfy demand. Now, I will discuss price floors. They are pretty much the opposite of price ceilings. They are set above equilibrium price with the purpose of protecting the producer. It is a price that they can be certain of receiving for their output. But an economist would generally disagree with this also because they cause excess supply in the market.